Good morning, Eagles. Here at GJ, it's our mission to be prompt, polite, and prepared. And it's our vision that every student will graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or career. I'm Natalie, and on today's show, we'll have a few announcements and a featured story on reading. So let's begin, Eagles, because ENN starts now. With fall coming up, one of my favorite things to do is sit outside in the cool weather and read a book. So let's head over to Castro with a featured story on reading now. Reading is a key part of our day-to-day -day lives, whether it's just relaxing reading a book or simply reading a menu at a restaurant. Come with me to experience and learn about the importance of reading today. Although some people think reading can just be a pastime, reading has proven to be relaxing. A 2009 University of Sussex study found that reading can reduce stress levels by up to 68%. Reading can also reduce your heart rate and ease muscle tension. But what happens when certain books are restricted or banned? The act of limiting access to certain stories and ideas has been happening since the 1600s. This challenges our ability to explore diverse viewpoints and everybody should be able to feel represented in a book. Let's hear from our librarian about banned books. So the books on display here on our banned books shelf have been banned or challenged at some point in history. Even here at GJ, some of these books have been challenged. Um, and the reasons for them being banned or challenged are different. And if you do come visit the library to see the display, you can view the reasons for the challenge. Um, if you open the book and look at the slip inside, it'll tell you. But basically, as a librarian, and part of the librarian community, we believe that everyone deserves to see themselves represented in a book and that books are windows into unknown worlds um, and that they can teach understanding and acceptance and librarians believe that you should have the freedom to read what you'd like. Through learning about the importance of reading, we can find new ways to educate and learn every day. I'm Castro with ENN, back to you. One of my favorite things about reading is that depending on the book, it can keep you in the know. A few other things that can keep you in the know is some announcements, so let's head over to those. Spanish Honor Society meets every third Thursday of the month. The next meeting is Thursday, October 24th at 2.15 p.m. in the cafeteria. Kona Ice will be here during lunch October 22nd, so make sure to come on by and get your ice. Chess Club is held Monday after school in room 19107. All skills are welcome. Everyone from Stockfish Zero to Mingle Carlson can join in on the fun and learn some strategies along the way. Email Mr. McNeil for more information. The ASVAB test on November 15th is in the cafeteria at 7 a.m. Anyone can take the ASVAB. Please see First Sergeant Williams in room 4142. FCA will meet Fridays in room 1226 after school. All are welcome. Come to hear a good word. Stats Watch Club will meet weekly on Thursdays after school in room 1226. Come and join in for the fun and the adventure. Well, Eagles, unfortunately, that's going to be all for today's show. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Monday. I'm Natalie, signing off of ENN.